I love clicking on the message of the day and it just doesn't open. Prestigious weapon. Goodbye, excellent. Okay, mode of the day just slide out as a local. No message of the day. How are you doing? I'm doing fine, you know. Had to play Overwatch earlier. Actually didn't lose Overwatch earlier. I was very impressed. You know how it be. And we're just gonna kind of vibe and exist. What's up, Umbreon? How you doing? And so we are gonna play this. And if my PC crashes like twice, then I'm gonna give up on this. And I don't know what we'll play. Maybe some Valorant. Maybe some Overwatch. Because I've started enjoying Overwatch again, which I hate, but you know how it be. You know how you do in get indeed be. Also, fun fact. As I've been saying, I want to do all three Danganronpas again by the end of the year. But my plan for next year is throughout the year. No, the only reason I'm saying throughout the year is because I doubt my willingness to do it back to back like like I'm going to be doing Dang and Rumpa will be there. But throughout the course of the year, I'm giving myself the entirety of 2021. I'm going to play at least one of every single Pokemon game from each generation. Including remakes. You got two and a half months you have time. Yeah, I know I got time on Dang and Rumpa. I'm not worried about it. Um, but, so we have, Poke like it's going to be Pokemon Red. I'm here to tell you, the only reason I can tell you this now is because these are the ROMs I have downloaded. It's going to be Pokemon Red, then Pokemon Silver, and don't ask me why these ROMs specifically, but it's just this is what I downloaded, so heck. Then Emerald for Gen 3, then Fire Red, even though I really want to Leaf Green because I've... Because Leaf Green's always better, but hey, you know how it be. Um, then you got Pokemon Blue. Oh my gosh, if that, I hope that's not loud on stream, because in my ear that's stupid loud. Yeah, I also played this game mode earlier and I don't know what it is. Also, the graphics are worse right now for some reason. I think I haven't fully loaded in. Yep, I clicked the aim in button and my entire game just decided to cease existing. The game's still loading or it doesn't like me streaming, one of the two. Hang on, hang on, hang on. But yeah, so it'll be red, then silver, then emerald, and then fire red, uh, and then platinum, and then soul silver. I, I think I'm probably about to die, I'm not sure though. Because I literally can't see anything. I have two frames, max. Because it it's loaded me in mid-game. And whether I'm streaming or not, loading in mid-game, this game does not like that in the slightest. Loading in mid-game. Um, but so then, so it's Platinum. And then we have, I think, Black and Black 2, conveniently enough. Then Y, then Alpha Sapphire, then Sun, then Ultra Sun. And then, if you're going to ask why no 8th gen, because uh, Gen 8 sucks. I've made an executive order. I can't tell if I'm being shot or not, so this is pretty fog. But yeah, so we're going to be doing that through the course of the year. Randomize the Nuzlocke, and if we lose at a game, we cannot go on to the next gen. We are beating all seven generations, including remakes. 
So that's like what nine Pokemon games we're gonna Nuzlocke next year. Just be like that. I would like frames, please. Okay, I got shot by a guy that didn't exist on my screen. I just want this game to be over so we can actually load into a game properly. Well, I died. Okay, I'm going to quit this. I'm going to hope I load into one that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, not load properly. So I just get L'd on frames. It's glitchy on my screen. It's glitchy, like, on my screen, too. Don't feel bad. It's literally just, like, I, I understand my PC's trash and it's very hard to run this game. But, like, whenever I load into, if I don't load into a match at the start of a match, if I try to load in midway through, it is just the most bugged out piece of trash for the entirety of that midway load. And there's nothing I can do to stop it. And it seems like it's not working, which makes me sad. So, I'm going to give the two of you that are still here the option of what the hell do I play. Because clearly Cold War is not working. And I'm not going to try to force it to work. Which sucks. Because I'm going to be playing this game a lot in November. But it just means I'm not going to be able to stream it because my PC is trash. It makes me very sad. Um, but so yes, yeah, so we can play Overwatch. We can play Valorant. Or we could pull, just go do the Danganronpa trial right now. Any of the three. I don't particularly care, but I just, I do not see Call of Duty working. Which makes me very sad. Makes me very, very sad. Or maybe, you know, we can, if one of you guys have an idea for another game that we can just boot up real quick and have fun with, we can do whatever. I could like load up Jump King or something and I could just jump up and down for a couple of hours. I don't know. Also, it's going to literally take like six minutes to close, so we're just going to kind of be at this screen for a second. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Uh, we could try Genshin Impact. Like, part of me wants to be on the wave with everyone else and be like, yeah, let's play Genshin Impact. I don't really enjoy Genshin Impact. Kind of the same reason I didn't enjoy Breath of the Wild. Like, I want there to be... Don't get me wrong. I hate games that sit there and hold your hand and is like, okay, this is what you have to do. This is exactly what you have to do. This is the path you are following. This is the only path you can take. This is what you must do. I hate that. But I also hate, like, Breath of the Wild and Genshin Impact because of the fact there's too much to do like it's open world you can do whatever the heck you want apparently skyrim is also like that and other games and such like there's too much to do and you have too many options i don't personally like that because i just get sidetracked way too easily um but so i need like a game that's gonna balance itself out if we had more people i'd say we could do like a jackbox or something that could be fun uh, we could boot up Fall Guys, we could boot up, I just threw a water bottle at the floor. I could boot up City Skylines and just make a city and watch it crash into the ground and name it something funny. We could just play Minecraft, that's always an option. Uh, I think though, I'm gonna... Maybe Fall Guys? I'm down for Fall Guys. I'm down for Fall Guys. Let's see if it tilts me off the face of the earth again. Oh, wait. Isn't it like Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout? So I can't even use the, the freaking command. Uh, well, we can disable performance mode. That's a plus side. So I need to... Launch Fall Guys. Close the battle net launcher. Which, by the way, the amount of different launchers I have to own or have installed is ridiculous. And it makes me sad. Because, like, I understand why. It's the name of competition and, you know, making money and da-da-da-da-da and what have you. But 
if everything could just be under one launcher, like if I could just launch Steam and have all my games there, or if I could just launch the Battle.net launcher and have all my games there, that would be great. But like, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, where's... I can never find the Twitch icon on this dumb phone. I blame this phone for everything I go through. Why am I getting emails about Twitch gift cards? Who is buying a gift card for Twitch? Also, if you cheat in Fall Guys, you're a loser. I'm just going to have to openly come and say that. What kind of phone do I got? It's a... It, I literally just got it because my brother gave this to me because he got like an iPhone X or something. And it's like a Samsung something or another. I don't really know what it is. I can give you the exact number it is in a second. I have to change the title as well. Beta. Oh, hang on. COD. Beta. Crashed. My PC. So now. I'm playing this. Smile. But yeah. Is there a way to look up what your phone is? I'm not really too, too sure. What do you mean couldn't start the game? Uh, ch -ch -ch. All right, I think I just clicked information, poggers. Now we have to relaunch Fall Guys. Uh, I think it'll be in settings, right? I'm no genius. Settings. About phone. A Samsung Galaxy A71. I don't know... How new is that? When did this thing come out? Because it... Like, I, before this, I had, like, some free phone that I got via when I got my phone plan. And even though it was a free smartphone, and, like, technically those are the crappier ones, I was happy. I just, you know, I loaded up YouTube. I was A-OK. -okay. I didn't need to do anything fancy with it. And now this thing's got all these fancy gadgets and gizmos, and it makes me feel like a boomer, despite me being only 21. But hey. Um... Search, 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 search. What was I about to search? Oh, that's what I was going to do. Samsung Galaxy A71 release date. What is the when was this released? Oh, it was released this year. Apparently, this is like a super new phone. Hmm. Apparently, this is like a super new phone. I did not know that. I was over here thinking, like I said, I, like before this, I had like, I don't even remember the name. It was literally called like the name of my phone carrier, generic something. Like straight up is what it was called. Like, there was no fanciness to it of any kind. And I was good with no fanciness. But now, I have this thing. Which, I mean, I don't mind at the end of the day. But it's like... it di Like, it's pretty much like... Because we always made this joke with my dad. Because my mother's always convincing my dad. He's like, he needs to get a new phone. He has to upgrade. He has to be on the newest phone. He and he's got, like, some fancy Samsung thing as well. But, he doesn't know what the hell to do with it. Alright, let's look at this shot. Oh. Valkyrie, that's cool. Grabber. I kind of want this. These are cool, and I want this as well. That's pretty cool. Also, the Filthy Rich nickname. I want all of these. So we just got to win, you know, eight games. Or we got to level up the Battle Pass, like, I don't know how many tiers. A million tiers in the day. Easy clap. Slime Survivors. Simple. Stay out of the slime or you're out. Uh, I'm going to try one of these. I don't think I like it, but I'm going to try one. See what's happening. 
gonna try one. We're gonna see what's hippity happening with it. So I don't know. I kind of like until I can find a place that will hire me. Kaede vibes. Honestly, that's the whole reason I like this skin. I love the music notes simply because that was the first thing I thought of when I got it. Um, but honestly, like I kind of vibe with this stream schedule of from like three to five. I will do either Danganronpa or once we finish Danganronpa come next year we'll do uh, Pokemon as I said and then like or like 3 to 5 3 to 6 somewhere in that time range and then like 8 or 9 o'clock start doing like a different game or like Fall Guys or Valorant or what have you like I can vibe with that kind of stream schedule because my biggest issue with just going straight through and just switching games halfway through I don't like that as much also, I promised YouTube content, and that's kind of fallen flat on its face, so I might just turn my channel into a VODs channel, where I just flat out just download and upload the VODs. That way, if anyone's interested, I guess it could be something. And then we just go from there. But yeah, so if any of you guys have Fall Guys as well, I'm down to play with people, of course, because it's Fall Guys, and there's not really competition there's not really good teamwork either but you know what i mean you got a youtube channel yes that i used to upload to regularly and then i became lazy because originally i was a youtube creator originally i was like we're talking 2017 probably around was when i was probably the most consistent 2017 2018 and that was i only did pokemon wait there's a sonic the hedgehog skin when did they get a sonic the hedgehog skin and people are already being rude and knocking me out. Alright, I hate this game. I already hate this game. I've decided it's trash. <laughs> I'm uninstalling. The... <coughs> if I don't stop sneezing, I think I'm gonna die. Apparently I have allergies or something. But yeah. I used to be just a hardcore content or pokemon content creator like that's all i would do like you i think you can ask umbreon she might have been a well not no she was because she was around when the pokemon center still existed umbreon was still around when the pokemon center still existed and that was a, hmm, that was a fun time there that's a story that's a story i can enlighten y'all onto one day that's a that's a spicy story. That whole Pokemon Center nonsense. But yeah, I used to do Pokemon full time, did like try to do let's plays, try to do uh like competitive battling. I was not bad at competitive battling, I must say. Like granted, I didn't play VGC, which is the official competitive format, but like just playing in like league format, I'd say I did pretty well. You know, I wasn't the most genius player in the world, but I ran unique stuff. I got away with a lot more than I should have. You know how it be. Yes, I was a pre scene pre mod a long time ago. Apparently, she's still on Twitter. Apparently. I do not. I'm not gonna lie, I don't keep up to date with people anymore because half the people I talk to just are toxic and I decided to just cut them out, but. Oh my god, I thought I just tanked. Yo, look at us. We're zooming. Oh, get up, you little bean. Who? Okay, no, no, back up, back up. Never mind. We didn't have time to back up. Whee! Go, 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 go. Alright, we're going up the middle bridge because it's the one that's going up right now. She started streaming again? Poggers. I kind of do Danganronpa edits and crap. Yo. I mean, like, depending, uh, like, I love the, there's this one YouTube, or I don't think it's one YouTube channel that does it. I think it's a bunch of them that do it. I'm not really sure. Dogs are losing their mind, and I don't know why. Um, but there's this Dangan, like, there's these Danganronpa edits I'll see that it's like, 
you whatever the character's name is into the wrong neighborhood and they'll make it a song like it's like the two to the one to the one to the three song and i always love those because they're really funny but outside of that like outside of me playing the games and me seeing that stuff i haven't really delved into the danganronpa community i'm not really sure like you know how crazy it could be because there's some communities and fan bases out there that are just out why are dogs losing their mind there's nobody here i do not want to go out there i'm in the middle of my fall guys game yes i own three dogs there are three dogs in this house i'm the only one who takes care of them but you know there are three dogs in this house I'm pretty sure I'm allergic to one of them. And then, because ever since we got him a couple of months ago, I've been sneezing like a crazy person. Ugh. But when did they release a Sonic skin in this game? I don't remember that happening. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, we have to actually remember things. Watermelon, Cherry. The first round's easy. Watermelon, Cherry. Easy. What are their names? So, this drives me crazy to this day, right? But, um, so we have an all-black dog. And he, these are all, like, medium-sized dogs. I think this is watermelon. Um, but it's a all, it's a very large all-black dog. And it's called, oh, hang on, I really have to focus because I'm dumb. Uh, watermelon, watermelon, banana, grape, orange. Watermelon, banana, grape, orange. Watermelon, banana, grape, orange. I'm good. Watermelon, banana, grape, orange. Watermelon, banana, grape, orange. Watermelon, banana, grape, orange. Boom. Just gonna hold on here. But so, yes, yeah, so... They, uh... Onyx, Sonic Fear? No, I like the Sonic Fear. It looks cool. Uh, oh my god. Like, I want to tell this, the story of these names, but, like, I'm just so focused. Grape, banana, apple, watermelon. Grape, banana, apple, watermelon. Grape, banana, wa apple, watermelon. Okay, I'm on an apple. But so, uh, hopefully this is the last round. It should still be the last round. Poggers. Okay, so they, we have an all-black dog, and all three dogs are about medium size. So they're not like chihuahuas, but they're not like, you know, grizzly bears. They're like, but they're still pretty big dogs. Uh, the all-black one is named Thor. Excuse me, I think it looks cute. I don't know, I like the Sonic skin. It looks unique, it looks fun. Uh, wrong opinion. <laughs> understandable have a good day but yes yeah, so we have thor who is all black we have loki who's like a brown color so if you were to flip their names it would make a lot more sense of who's thor and who's loki but they're reversed and then the newer dog we got um essentially my brother's it wasn't even his girlfriend it was a girl he was desperately trying to date because he was thirsty um essentially it was just like she was getting uh, having to move out of her apartment and she didn't want to put the dog in the shelter so she was like until I can find a good home for him can you take care of him and his name is Riley and when he got to us he was very skinny and I did not like that so I made him a very hefty chonker if I do say so myself a hefty chunk I'm not gonna qual oh you stupid bean people you actually just cucked me. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Go, go, go. Okay, we're good. But yes, yeah, so that one's name is Riley. And he's a sweetheart, but every he's like still a puppy. But he has so much energy and the rest of the house is very lazy. So they just sit there and they're just like, okay, I'm not gonna... Okay, I messed that up. That's sad. Oh... I just got cucked. I just got so hard cucked. But, uh, I own one dog that's so small as Chihuahua. His name is so weird. Uh, my aunt used to own, like, every dog she would own is a Chihuahua. And so, I always thought, I always thought Chihuahua was pretty cool. Um, I don't have nothing against dogs. I'm just more of a cat person. Which, we do have three cats as well. Um, but, cats in this family do not do well uh that's why i personally make sure all the animals are good like i'm the one that walks and make sure everyone's good i have 12 pets Jeez, louise that's crazy 
Um, I want you to know, though, like, as I love cats and I love dogs, obviously. My dream pet, though, is a ferret. Because when I was growing up, one of the neighborhoods I lived in, because we moved around a lot, um, I was neighbor... My neighbor had a, a ferret. Actually, had two of them. I don't remember the names. But whenever we go to their house, I'd always ask to, like, just look at the ferrets. And they were just the coolest things in the world to me. Fun fact, that's also why I like Ferret the Pokemon now. Because it used to be I only love Sentra. Why are the... Do I need to go out there? I don't understand what they're barking at. Someone probably had to lock them up because someone's delivering something or another. Wait, it's 10 o'clock at night. No one's delivering anything. Oh, yeah. By the way, Umbreon. Like I said before, if you want to get in, you can. I'm down to play with people. It's just I haven't stopped to ask people if they want to play. Um, because Fall Guys, like, I don't know. I don't ever think about hitting people up for Fall Guys because it's not, it's not like Overwatch or something, you know, where it's like a team-based strategy game. Like, it's little bean people. Like, if you're on a team with someone, it doesn't really mean anything. It just means, oh, hey, we're technically, you know, in the same boat here. Okay, that sucks. Oh my god, oh my gosh, it restarts me! Oh my gosh, I hate this obstacle. Literally, you just get through on the first try or you don't. You just do or you don't, you know? Yeah, we do. I have a World War Three flashbacks with my dog. World War Three would have to happen for you to have flashbacks! <gasps> Yo, shout out to that tactical dodge real quick. I'd like some credit there. Alright. Boom. Hedgehog, ducks, and chickens, and dogs. Oh, do you live on a farm? You don't obviously have to answer if you don't want to, but... Dude, wait, this dude's got a full night outfit on. Oh, there's an egg set? I own one dog, just one, and we in war. You're at war with the dog? I don't think it's safe to be at war with dogs. I'm no genius, but being at war with dogs isn't exactly the safest thing in the world. Uh, but also, while I have people here, I want thoughts on this. So, for my birthday on the 27th, I want to do a 24-hour stream. But I've been debating how I want to do it. Like, do I, like, I've been trying to decide if I want to start, like, midnight the 27th, ES, uh, and just go till the full 24 hours of the 27th, or would it be better to start at, like, noon on the 27th when I would, when I would, like, wake up and then go 12 hours? So, like, I just want, like, opinions on that. Like, me personally, I'm feeling like it would be better to, like, start at noon and go 24 hours from there. But, like, at the same time, 20, like, 24 hours would fit perfectly in the 24-hour day. You know what I'm saying? I just did cherry. Hello, friends. Where are the emotes? <gasps> they bumped me off! These losers! This is why I hate this game. People out here actually, like, trying to win. It makes me sad. It makes me very, very sad. Uh, oh my god, do I have you added on Steam? Also, everyone's playing Phasmophobia. I don't know what it is. I don't know what Phasmophobia is. I don't think I actually have you added on Steam, now that I'm looking at it. Unless you're just not online. Actually, one thing I'm wondering, do I have a pets channel in the Discord? Not gonna lie, I just do not pay attention to my Discord. In the slightest. Which is bad. I want to pay attention and use it more, but the issue is, like, whenever I actually had friends and stuff... Well, 
okay, having friends sounds like I don't have friends anymore. Like, when I used to talk to people regularly, guaranteed every single day, we would always use their discords for stuff. So I just never improved mine. So now mine just kind of sits there. And what I need to do, because unfortunately, like currently, I'm just kind of set where I'm I'm the one you typing in the Discord every time I go live. And I know there's a bot to set it up that can do it for you, but I just don't know how to set up a Discord bot. But yeah, so I don't have a pet to show me. We can add one. We can add one real quick. In case anyone wants to upload a picture of their pet. Pet channel name. Pets. With a Z. Pet channel. There you go. So if anyone wants to upload a picture of all these millions of pets. Now you can. If you go to the Discord. At exclamation point Discord. Uh, I think at noon would be bad. Yeah. I, like I was already thinking noon would be the best. But like. Because here's the thing right. Is the. Because it's a 24-hour stream, and I'm technically calling it a fundraiser stream as well, even though I don't expect to get more than, like, a dollar. But I'm going to be, my entire camera roll is my chat. Well, if you want the Discord to see your cats, now they can, because there's a pet channel. So, pog you. And I'll make sure one of these days to go get pictures of all the dogs and put them in there. And then all the cats as well. But so, the reason, it's a fun story with cats. None of my three cats right now have names. They just don't. Um, and the reason for this is because the first cat we ever had was actually my little brother's, like, ninth or tenth birthday present. Oh, I, I just saw that you added me, so I had to accept that. Okay. I can do that next game, Umbreon. I got you. But, um... So once here, I can honestly, next as soon as I fall. But yeah, so it was like his ninth or tenth birthday day, or birthday present. Oh jeez, I just got axed. I've never fall got hit on this obstacle. Anywho, um, so they were like, okay, you know, everyone's gonna take care of the cat because everyone wants the cat, but you're allowed to name it. So they asked my brother what he wanted to name this cat, and he named it Bob. Someone explained to me, oh my, dude, okay, I'm just getting rolled, I literally can't exist, Jesus. But yeah, so he literally named it Bob, and we had a, it was Bob the Cat. <laughs> Alvin, Simon, and Theodore, I'm not naming them Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. But so we got two cats, originally, like it was a mother and a son, and then the mother cat, got pregnant by another cat in the neighborhood just okay get me off this dude why is it move so fast okay there we go if i qualify for this godspeed but um so she got pregnant by another cat in the neighborhood so that's how we got the third cat and so now we're just kind of vibing with a lot of cats Oh my gosh, I'm gonna qualify Pog. Nice. But yes, so my original cat was Bob the cat. Also, I love the Fall Guy outfits. I <laughs> like this game is 100% in my mind worth the 20 bucks. We got two pets in the pet channel. Ooh, hold up, let's look at them. Let's tab out, which I need to use Alt Tab more. Oh my goodness, there's so many kitties. All right, super. Okay, so. Oh, the bubblegum, this is your dog. What is the name of the dog? I'm confused. Oh my goodness, this cat is like a fashion model, Umbreon. What the hell? This cat is actually just a fashion model. What the hell? Look at her stunting on these hoes. Oh, truth or dare? Truth or dare? Wait, what? Why are we doing truth or dare? Okay, the yellow guy's over there. I'm running over here. Is that dude cheat? Did, is my blue teammate cheating, or was he, was he just flying, or am I crazy? Oh gosh, I'm falling. There's two yellow guys over here. 
there's one yellow infected. He kind of just failed to jump, but that's okay. Trying to keep my eyes out. I'm just, just, why is thought being blocked by Automod? I'll allow that in a second. Hang on. I'm just trying to focus on not being caught right now. Oh, he saw me, 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 he saw me. Go, 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 go. Alright, am I good? I'm like kind of clear. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, you let him to me! Cute. I need to find the yellow guys. Should be one over here. I hope I see this one. How do we not grab him? What? Someone grab this man. He's the last one. We couldn't grab him. Jesus, that dude just clutched. Alright, hang on. Let me allow that through auto mod because I'm okay with the word thought. Because why not? The year 2020. Alright, now adding Umbreon. How do you do this? It's like shift tab opens up everything. Ha ha ha. Who the heck is this and why are they messaging me? Oh, I see your profile picture by the way. I see that Umbreon. Can I read the message? It just says I have a message I haven't read. Oh, it's just somebody invited me to play a game a couple of weeks ago. Never mind. Alright. Now you should be added. And now, how do I invite people? Invite. And then we'll wait. But so, yes. Your kitties are so cute. Your kitties are. Oh. <laughs> I love the outfit. My doggie is named Apache. I know it's weird. It was what the nurse who named it. No, I'm okay with the name Apache. Listen, I'm okay with any name of anything. You could come to me and tell me your dog is named, like, Green Bean or something. And I'd be like, yo, Green Bean be popping off. Yo, look at this. Apache's popping off in these pictures, too. He's cute. He's, um, what's it called? I used to actually remember no names of dog breeds, and then I became stupid. Uh, I feel like I, if I actually had my memory, I'd still know his uh, what dog breed that is. It's like a sh something terrier, I think, if I was guessing. If I was having a guess, a Chihuahua mixed terrier, I knew it was it was a terrier something. But <laughs> that toucan kills me. I love it. I actually should see if I can see what costumes I have for Fall Guys, because I've had this costume for like nine years. And honestly, once we build this into like a poppin' community, we can get like fun game nights going with Jackbox, or we can get like, uh, what's it called? One thing I would love to do is because I literally don't ever watch movies or TV, my doggos, I don't have pictures of them. Uh, but as soon as I can get good pictures of them, because I'm not going to lie, unless I'm the one cleaning my house, it's kind of trashed, which I actually have to clean the house tomorrow. Uh, hence why I was given rubber gloves, these things you hear right here, because it's nasty. But uh, I will clean the house tomorrow, and when I'm doing that, I will take very good pictures of all the dogs. Now, one of the dogs, like, see, so fun fact, like I said, there's Thor, Loki, and Riley. Thor is the one we've had the longest, and fun fact about Thor is he's very territorial, so he has to stay in my parents' room because he doesn't like Riley, and we've tried to make them get along, and they just don't get along, and Riley's a very, he's not the smartest bulb in the bunch, I'm just gonna say, and he like slams his head into walls and stuff. Dude, this dude has actual hair, what the hell am I looking at? That's like creeping me out, I don't like that. Yo, oh my gosh, wait, I'm gonna get first place. Oh, I'm over the door. Oh my gosh, but I got slowed so hard. 
Didn't get first, but you know, like top five. But yes, so he's like he's got a little injury on his head right now, but he's one hundred percent a okay. Like he's not picking on it or anything, so we don't have to do anything crazy. But yeah, he this dog has fought a lot, and then also, uh, so Thor. So hold up, I want to tell the story of each of these dogs because each of these dogs has a very interesting story to me. Uh, like I already told you with Riley, the the hair skin is supposed to be the Fall Guys community manager. Yo, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, but, so like I said, uh, Riley, it was this girl my brother was trying to date. She was moving. She couldn't keep the dog. We, and we're holding on to the dog until she finds a good home for him. Fair enough. Uh, Thor, we had the longest technically because we had Thor when he was a very tiny little puppy when we were living at a different house. Then we moved to a house that didn't allow dogs. So we had to give him up. But then when we moved out of that house to this house... Um, conveniently around the same time, the woman who was, took Thor from us when he was a puppy was just like, hey, I'm moving to a house that doesn't allow dogs now. Before I ask if anybody else would want him or take him to a shelter, do you want him back? And my mother said yes. So that's how we got Thor back. And Thor, we've had for a long time. Thor's like seven now at this point. It's crazy. Um, then we have uh, Loki who's a very interesting little peanut, I must say, because uh, we got him from a shelter, and the shelter we got him from, uh, they essentially told us he was microchipped because he was used at um, dog fights, but not as, like, a dog who fought because he wasn't big enough for that. He was simply, uh, he was used to essentially, like, wild the other dogs up and get them ready to fight. So, he was very lean and very quick, but he was also very energetic. That was always his, like, thing, I guess, and that's why they used him like that. But so, you know, he's still has a bunch of energy. He's going to be four, I think, come November, if I remember properly. Or he might have already turned four in July. It's one of the two. I don't really ever have memory when it comes to these things. And then Riley, like I said, I think is two, maybe turning three or something like that. Can someone else fall, please? Can someone else fall? Disconnected? No! Why did you disconnect? That makes me very sad. That uh, makes me the sad. I used to have a dog named Peanut. I had him when I was around three, but my mom had to give him away. He's around 14 or 13. We used to have... So when we got Thor, like I said, he was a little puppy. But before Thor... We had a dog named Fudge, and Fudge was this tiny little thing. Like, bigger than a Chihuahua, but, like, no bigger than that. Um, and Fudge was a trooper. She would, like, she was a tiny dog, but she would fuck everybody's shit up. Anyone came pulled up on her, she was throwing hands. Like, this was a dog who could fight with the best of them, and I was proud of her for it. And there was literally, it was the saddest thing. Um, there was one day where... Uh, we lived on a main road, mind you. For some reason, someone pulled into our front yard to, like, turn around or something. Keeping in mind, we lived on a main road, so I don't understand why they were using our yard of all yards. But they used the yard to turn around, and they hit her, but literally they were going so fast that they hit her straight up into our window. And I want you to know, that dog took it like a chick. Like, the if someone hit me into a window, I'm dying. Like, I'm dead. You know, it's perishing. It's like, I, I've perished. I've gone to the next life. It's over. This dog just straight up got hit by a car, thrown through a window, and her leg just didn't work after. Or her, one of her front legs didn't work. But she, other than that, she was still she was still good. She was hopping around. She was like, she still was the same old her as always. She was just like, yeah. We didn't choose to have her arm amputated. Uh, so it was literally just pulled up to her side. At all times. But so, when we moved out of that house, when we had to get rid of Thor, we also got had to give Fudge away. And Fudge, at that time, was already like seven or something. Um, but we gave her away to this rich lady who lived in this rich neighborhood because she loved how small she was. And she was able to pay for the surgery to fix her leg. And so, she's still like... I think she's like 13 or something now. Some crazy shit like that. Like, she eats like steak for dinner every day. She vibes. She's a-okay. She's chilling. 
absolutely a-okay with it. And so, that's Fudge. And then before both Fudge and Thor, oh goodness, I'm in front of the ball, um, we had two dogs when we were still in Connecticut, and this was when I was like really, really little, um, called Rocky and Dallas. Now, Rocky was a tiny little wiener dog. It was funny. And then Dallas was like this very, I wouldn't say big dog, but it was a pretty hefty dog, I must say. Um, like, you know, pretty average size and so on. I just got hit by a hammer. But so, yeah. So, I've had a lot of animals throughout my life. Oh, my goodness. What is happening? Unless we get cucked by the hammer, we're fine, right? Hey, we're first place. Nice. Um, alright, hold on. Let me catch up on chat. I already read the peanut thing. Anyway, my s friend Sam... I'm assuming Samuel calls the hair skin the Redditor skin. No, a Redditor skin would be a fedora, duh. I didn't know they added hammers to that stage. But yeah, this is great. Pets are always adorable. I might... It's Samuel, but I call him Samu K. Okay, I got you. Don't know how in heck you... I had birds, but they would scream at the top of their lungs at 3 in the morning. My grandmother owned birds. She had... Literally, one of them was named Polly, I'm pretty sure. I, I could be wrong about that, but there, there was that bird. And then she also had, like, 12 dogs in her house. It was crazy. Oh, my gosh. Do these fall away quicker or something? Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> no. Oh my gosh. I'm falling every floor. Jesus. Polly the bird. Or it was like, no, it was strawberry. That's what it was. It wasn't Polly. But she would literally say, Polly want, want a cracker. Like the little bird thing. And whenever we'd say over to her house, it was just loud. I'm trying to cut people off from my platform. And it's not really working all too... <gasps> no! I keep just throwing. I should be focusing a lot more on the game, but I just can't. I want to read what that message says with the hmm, but I just can't right now. <gasps> no! Damn it. The hmm guy that came in to your... GOI stream. Oh! Okay, I remember, I remember. Yes, the getting over a stream. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, okay, so apparently someone has brought dinner. So I'm gonna go see what that dinner is real quick. Uh, Umbria, I'll give, I'll send out an invite and then I'll wait. As you know, nice pog champ waiting as it. Oh, you're already here. Poggers. I'll be back in two seconds. I'll try to be sprinting as fast as I can. <laughs>
returned from the void, as I said. And now we are here to play the video game. I got handed a very vast amount of food. So some of that's probably going to get put up in the fridge later. But we enjoy some french fries for now. I'll make a deal, right? Once COVID is all over, I'll become a multi-millionaire when COVID is over, by the way, because of streaming. That's totally going to happen, 100%. You can count on it. And I'm going to hold a pet con after COVID is over, and we can all just bring our pets, and we'll all just pet each other's pets. And that's how it'll work. The admission, it will cost one cute animal to enter. That's all it will cost. You just have to bring a cute animal with you and show it at the door. And we'll be good to go. Also, I don't know if it's just for me. But this game is so violently quiet. I just walked too far. Damn. It's like violently quiet. Or no, I don't think it is violently It's not violently quiet. I'm dumb. I had my headset turned all the way down because I was playing Overwatch. And my Overwatch sound settings are so jacked up that I just have to turn my headset down to two. guys watch anime i've been meaning to watch more anime because like i said like certain like the few i've like actually delved into i've enjoyed like jojo's bizarre adventure absolutely love it the fan base is toxic but didn't that make your stream pfp what's a stream pfp right now i don't know the pfp i use everywhere currently like the one that's on twitter and my discord profile picture if that's that was made, I had an artist commission to do this, because it was based off of a Minecraft skin that another friend made for me, but I liked it. Steam profile? Oh, Steam! Not stream. I can't read. Uh, the, you're talking about the Perugly with the Apom face? I'm pretty sure you did. If you didn't, then I just found the picture somewhere on the internet, but I'm like 94% sure it was you. But yeah, I've literally just been too lazy to change it, and I think it's great whenever I load into a game, and people get to see the Perugly for the first time, and they're like, what is that? And I'm like, what's the problem? I'm going to change my outfit, and I haven't done that yet. I just got knocked into the void. I'm so sad. I'm going to play exactly one Desicito. If this stupid bird doesn't stop nudging me, I'm going to actually kick his ass. Okay, we get it. There's trees. Can I walk now? No. no. There we go. Oh my gosh, look at that vault. I didn't jump. I did, I literally just all that time I made up like a speedrunner, I just threw it away. Let me go. You 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 weenie, you weenie hunt general, huh? Do I got to freaking punch you in the mouth, huh?
there's another toucan. I saw it last round. I was going to talk about it, but then I completely forgot because my brain just isn't functioning right now because all I can think about is French fry. I used to be the only toucan. Now I see toucans every game. You were a trendsetter. That's all it was. Coopsie daisy. <laughs> this makes me want to play Death with you. Fun fact, whenever I actually try to edit a YouTube video again, you're still my outro, Umbreon. For what that's worth. I love that outro so much that you made. You made it like three years ago at this point, but I still love it to pieces. Where are the hoops at? Dude, every hoop is getting stolen in front of my eyes. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm just gonna stand right here. I'm just, I'm throwing. There we go. Doug, red used to be in the first place by like nine million, nineteen million yards. Red's getting smoked. We need a golden ring. <laughs> okay, Red got that. Thank goodness. Okay, Red got this one. Dude, we're just, we're losing. We're losing so hard. Dude, how did we go from first place by, like, a giant lead to last? Just how? Alright, I have to look at a different costume real quick. I have to see what I have. Outfits. I kind of like this color scheme still, so I'm going to keep it. I don't want to change the pattern. Like, I just want to see if we have an outfit. I don't remember getting this. I don't remember getting that. Uh, what bottoms do we have? We have banana water, the tail, the hot dog, tropic toucan. Oh. This is more to the unicorn? When did I- I never got this unicorn set. I don't know why I have it. Let's look at our other uppers real quick. Oh, the flower? I love the flower top. Hmm. I'm digging the swimsuit, but I think we're gonna have to change up the pattern and stuff. Oh, look at this. This is a- this is a fit right here. Hold on. Let me just change the pattern real quick. Oh my gosh, it looks like I have nipples. We're keeping this. This is the fit. This is the fit. One million percent. Unicorn was free? I see. It looks like I have little nipples. I love it. want some jelly toast I used to do uh, 
like if I ever were ha like if we didn't have jelly, and I was just gonna have a peanut butter sandwich for dinner or something, I would always toast the bread, at the very least. That way it like, because to me, I don't know what it was. Warm, peanut butter, just hit different. Like sure, regular peanut butter sandwiches, they like get dry in your mouth and stuff. But I could eat like. Ten, uh, toasted peanut butter sandwiches, I'd be fine. Like no water needed. I don't know about toast with jelly, but here in the south, this is the one southern tip I will actually take with me. The one day I escape back to the north. Um, if you're getting like a chicken biscuit for breakfast, right? And only in the south have I ever seen people do this, and they're crackheads for it, but I love them. Um. Putting grape jelly on your chicken biscuit. I'm just constantly falling. I hate this game. I just fell because I didn't jump. Cool. I think I'm not qualifying already because I'm trying to pay attention to other things. But yeah, so... Uh, yeah, so like I was saying, um, like a chicken biscuit with grape jelly on it like actually hits so much different so much different than you would ever think it would hit because it sounds disgusting it sounds like diabetes waiting to happen right but wrong it just tastes good I did it to do that I ever mentioned how much I hate this game I ever mentioned how much I despise this game. Disconnect again. Fall Guys servers are ass. Dude, Among Us is a three person dev team, and somehow they've had more reliable servers. What are you idiots doing? You have to come this way. Oh, look at that. The person who stood in the middle gets the advantage. Who would have guessed that one? Boom. Umbria wants some jelly and toast. But true, jelly and toast could help your situation. I don't know if I'd do jelly on a normal chicken sandwich. I feel like that would taste very bad. But like, jelly on like a chicken biscuit, even if it's like a school chicken biscuit in the morning, it just hits different. Now, those disgusting people that I see, and I, this isn't just a southern thing, and this is all over the freaking United States, as far as I'm aware. Those disgusting fuckers who dip their pizza in ranch actually leave. Get off of my plane of existence. That, like, that is the nastiest. Granted, I'm, this is all just, you know, for fun. So at the end of the day, if you truly do enjoy that, enjoy what you, you enjoy. I'll enjoy what I enjoy. I truly don't care. But just for joke purposes, it is disgusting. Ranch and mayo are the most disgusting abominations ever made to this earth. And I do not understand how anyone even thinks about enjoying them. I do not understand. I do not follow. I do not comprehend. I do not process this information. I no longer understand. Pizza and ranch. Oh no, and some people have what just get. Ew! That's nasty! Now, you know it isn't nasty. Fun fact, while we're discussing shit, shit that goes on pizza, right? I've worked at two different pizza places. Uh, those are my literally only two job experiences. Uh, well, that's why. But, two pizza places that I have worked at. They have both. I've seen my fair share of weird stuff. So, the first place I worked at was a Papa John's. The weirdest order I ever saw is some lady ordered one of our cookies, like our cookie dessert things, and it's literally just a big cookie. We just put it in the oven, it's warm, you're good. But all she ordered was that cookie and a garlic butter cup that we put in with our pizza. And I don't even want to imagine what she did. I don't even want to imagine what she did to that cookie with that, with that garlic butter cup. It terrifies me to this day. But so, there's that. But then the second place I worked at is this chain called Mod Pizza, which, fun fact, is going bankrupt. That's why I'm no longer working there. Um, they're going bankrupt. And Mod Pizza, they used to, 
Like, they would have, like, corn you could put on your pizza, straight up. And, like, they were pretty much, it was like a Subway, but you could, build, like, you could put whatever we had on a pizza. Like, you could put artichokes on it, we had that, we had, like, obviously pineapple. Which, people who rant about pineapple on pizza, like, I don't get it. I had pineapple on pizza once, it's not bad. Get, like, a nice Hawaiian thing going. Mm, delicious. I didn't jump. Anywho, um, you get the nice Hawaiian thing going, like I said, and then, but so, like, people would just overload these pizzas, because, like, yes, we could put whatever you want on our pizza, but we also specialized only in personal pizza, so, like, our biggest size was, like, a 12-inch pizza. Oh, I got eliminated. That's unfortunate. Pineapple pizza good, t- tastes good. Exactly, especially, because you get, like, the nice, ro- like, roasted pineapple, you get all that juice in there. Mm, delicious. But so, you have that, right? So, from from there, like, people would just overload. They would put, like, 27 toppings on these pizzas. And they were only thin crust as well. So, it would literally just be, like, a piece of cardboard on the bottom. We had this one dude who came in, and he wanted, on his personal pizza that he was making, he wanted, like, it was like a ranch base. But he wanted us to mix the barbecue sauce in with the ranch. For the base. And we were already like, oh Jesus, where is this going? He didn't want regular mozzarella cheese. He wanted only blue cheese. He wanted spinach leaves on top of the blue cheese. And then for some reason on top of all of that, he was just like, yeah, let me get some pepperoni and bacon. And then that was it. I don't understand why. I don't understand where he came up with this combination. But he took his pizza. He was like, thank you. Have a good day. And he left. I don't know what he did with that. I don't know if he threw it in the trash, but help him. But some fun pizza combinations I've seen that I actually really, like, I remember it was a couple of years ago at this point. There's this place where I'm used to be from up in Connecticut called Captain's Pizza. If you've ever heard of it or you've ever been there, it is God tier. And they used to have a, uh, it was literally a mashed potato pizza. Which sounds disgusting. Don't get me wrong. It was delicious. Because it was, they literally, it wasn't like they smashed a potato and put it on a pizza. They straight up made mashed potatoes and then put that on the pizza. Working in a pizza joint sounds a lot. Okay, depends on the type of pizza joint. Like, Papa John's, this one that I specifically worked at, and the mob pizza I specific, uh, were both wild. Simply because the managers did not care. Like, somebody could come in and they... Like, whatever they wanted to order, we weren't allowed to question them. They were, We were just like, yep, we'll make that. And we made it. Pizza Hut is wild. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Pizza Hut. I'm going to be honest. Like, their crust, I do not like in the slightest. And, like, their breadsticks to me are disgusting. I don't personally like it. Uh, like, if I'm going... If I'm going pizza, I'm going to an authentic New York... An authentic, like, New York pizza place or I'm going to like a fake one that's like run by some Italian guy nearby but if I have to do chain pizza my number one would be Domino's and that's simply because I like the garlic crust no I was at the end Domino's but yeah literally Domino's get me some bread bites get me the uh, stuffed cheesy uh, bread that my introduced me to back in 2017. Literally, before my introduced me to that, I would just get, like, normal stuff at, at Domino's. I would never think to do anything too crazy or too wild with whatever I was ordering, right? And, like, she just showed me that, oh, hey, you can get this stuffed cheesy bread thing. And I was just like, yo, this is delicious. This is great. I'll take seven. And so, ever since then. But yeah, like if I'm choosing pizza and I actually get a choice in the matter, it's 100% New York style pizza where it's really thin and you got the nice tomato sauce, you get like that extra layer of cheese on it, you know what I'm saying? Because like, that's the type of pizza where you can just get cheese and you're good. Like if, if you're going to like a Papa John's or something, you need to get like a works if you want it to be good because you're just piling toppings on it at that point. But, like, Italian pizza, you, like, a New York-style pizza place, you can literally just get cheese, and you're good. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I love about those places. It's just so delicious. Also, 
garlic bread at freaking New York style pizza places. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the garlic crust, but actual garlic bread made by an Italian, it just hits different. It just hits different. You get a nice little cup of marinara to dip the garlic. It, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. I'm so upset that I don't have a pizza next to me right now. I am so upset. But yeah, it is. It's so good. Trust me. Like, you have not lived until you've had New York style pizza. And this is when, if I were like a big streamer, somebody from Chicago would come in and they'd be like, actually. Like, they push the glasses up like the anime thing. And they have like the sheen go off on their glasses. Actually, you need to have deep dish pizza because, you know, a pizza's not a pizza until it causes, you know, your arteries to implode. And to that dude from Chicago who says that, I have to say to you, sir, um, shut the fuck up. Stuffed crust, pi or not, st stuffed crust pizza is good, but, um, like deep, deep dish, like the way they do it in Chicago is absolute, like, I do not enjoy it. I, I like a good crust. I will eat a good crust, but I don't want 97 inches of crust on the bottom of my pizza. That is all I'm saying. I'm into Narnia. Dude, running it up mid just doesn't work anymore. I don't know what it is, but running it up mid just doesn't work. But yeah, I've never just been a fan of, like, super deep dish crust. Okay, really? Okay, just knock me off, please. Am I really not about to qualify? Wait. Oh, I'm not going to qualify. This dude's being a cuck. Oh, that makes me sad. Uh, I'm waiting. Are you still in? Hang on. Let me see. Looking for the toucan. I don't see the... Oh, wait. No, you changed your thing. I... I'm going to go back to New York, but I can't because of the cough cough. I don't think you're still in Umbrella, so I should have left. Okay, I should. I'll leave as soon as I can. But yeah, like, you don't even have to go to New York for good New York style pizza. Like, there is a place around you. I promise you. Like, it's not going to be advertised like a Domino's or anything like that. But you just got to kind of go around, like, next time you're going for a drive or you're, like, in your parents' car or something. Just kind of look around, keep your eyes peeled. It'll be a little hole in the wall place. Like I remember, we did um, uh, in high school. One of the theater competitions I went to, like um, it was hosted in the, I think it was like Greensboro or something like that. Is a city down here, or it was like so. It started with Green. And I remember we had because we were there for two days, but the second day we were all like, okay, we want lunch, but what do we want? And we went to. This literal hole in the wall place. And there was nobody in there. Like, straight up, it was empty, even though it was like the middle of the day. It was like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock. We went in there, and there was this one dude working there. And he was the owner. He told us. And he sat there. Because, so, like, it was like a pizza joint, but he also did sandwiches. So I was just like, yeah, let me get a chicken parmesan. When I tell you it's the best chicken parmesan sandwich I've ever had in my life. I'm not kidding. Like, this dude literally, we all placed our order and we all sat down. And, like, you could tell Homeboy was sitting there and he took his time. He did, like, he was truly crafting food. He wasn't just sitting there like, oh, yeah, here's a sandwich, put it in the oven, just came out. We pre-made it earlier this morning. Here you go, good to go. Like, he sat there, he brought it to your table on a little paper plate. Actually, no, that's a lie. He didn't bring it to your table on a paper plate. He... Put it on the counter and rung the bell and called your name. Which is even better to me, personally. And he... Like, it was so violently good. Like, I literally was just like, I want to kiss you, sir. He was just like, hey, don't... And he literally said, you can kiss me, but don't tell my wife. And I just... It was the funniest thing in the world to me. Dude, this dude knows every door. Look at him. Can I stand up, please? Alright, we're good. I'm qualifying, and the Rams right next to me. Poggers. But yeah, I'm telling you, like, those are the places you want. Like, 
don't get me wrong. It's convenient to have things like Domino's and McDonald's and like where you can just go and get your food and you're good. Reliably. But if you have the time and money, like find the little hole in the wall places near you. Instead of getting your burger from McDonald's, go find freaking like Al's Burger Shack where it's literally a tiny little building in like the in the busy part of town. Like, you know what I mean? Like, go find that, spend your money there, and I'm telling you, it will be worth it every time. Because these people, they put their time, their soul into this food, and it always comes out banging. I don't know why I've gotten onto this food ramp, but I just have. The stream's been all over the place. We started with pets. We, this stream would be a good one to make into a video, where we just start with pets, and then we just go through the different ramps and stuff while just Fall Guys plays in the background. This would be a good one to make into a video, but guess who's lazy and isn't going to do that? Like I said, I high-key might turn the channel into a VOD channel until I can become rich and famous enough to have an editor. Because while I love editing, I don't love editing, you know what I mean? Like, there's some co content creators out there who straight up do what they do, simple, or, like, they edit... Simply because it's what they love to do. And I give all props to them. You know what I mean? Like, enjoy what you enjoy at the end of the day. But what I am going to say is I don't I don't enjoy editing like that. Make a face quote through Discord. We can make a video talking about pets. Would be the whole thing. True. I should join my Discord call and just let people join. But I'm just far too lazy. Okay. And this is... Okay. So here's another rant I have, right? The Seesaw's minigame. Freaking... Literally, people, like, look at that tomato. He just face planted. He's going to eat shit. Oh, no, 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 Go, 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 go. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Like, look at this. People are still trying to jump on, and they're just cucking us. That's all it is. I'm just, like, I don't know how long the stream will be. That's probably the only reason I'm not jumping into a voice call. Also, while I love jumping into voice calls with people. Oh, my gosh. Please stop. Getting on to this, please. Now this one's gonna fall. <sighs> like, dude, this is why I hate the seesaws. I absolutely, like, we, literally, if we all work together, we will get through. But instead, everyone's like, no, I need to go right this second. So I'm gonna try to jump ahead of everyone. And they just cuck themselves in the process. I'm not going to qualify. I already feel it. Yep, I'm not qualifying. Oh, I hate it here. I think Umbreon qualified, though, so we'll just spectate Umbreon. But yeah, I just... It'd be like that. Not qualified? Poggers. We'll just spec you, then. You're... I see you. You're the pigeon with the bloodstains. Poor child, there ain't no poor child here. Listen, I'm currently playing a video game, just talking, vibing, existing, having a good time. It's just great. It's honestly just great. Like, there's no complaint I can currently have right now. There's zero. Alright, we have to find Umbreon. Uh, this one... This minigame I've played once, and it's so anxiety-inducing, I hate it. Uh, well, I see you. Okay, there you are. Fall Guy 2134, trying their best. Oh, dang, there's a golden ring. So you can just get five points out of the golden rings, huh? Here's the thing with me, I didn't see where I get my food or anything, I'm too lazy. Yes, and I'm exactly the same way. Like, here's the thing, my family wants to make fun of me for being a picky eater, but in reality, I'm the easiest to account for in any situation because anywhere you go, there's probably something I can eat that's cheap and I'm not really going to care too much. But, like, like I said, if you ever get to a point in your life where you, like, you've got stacks of cash and you don't have to care about something or another... All you, like, I'm telling you, it, it's worth it. Just, you know, maybe like one day a month, 
you know, you save up your pennies. Because normally these hole-in-the-wall places are a little bit more expensive because those people are paying for stuff out of their own pocket. Um, it's not like a corporate thing where they get a deal or anything of the sort. Which, by the way, the amount of corporations and stuff that get deals is ridiculous. Um, but, yeah, so you just go, like, once a month. You're like, hey, let me get pizza from this place instead of Domino's tonight, and let's see how it goes. And I promise you, because also, the great thing about New York-style pizza is that is pizza you can eat cold, and it'll still be as good. I will promise you that. That is so good. Mm. But I get really picky with my food sometimes. Same. But the, once again, that's why I said, like, regardless of where I go, there's something I can eat. Because I'll just be like, yo, just give me the chicken tenders. <laughs> like, every single plate, unless you go into, like, a very specific niche thing where they only serve freaking, I don't know, sushi. You know. Like, I wouldn't go to a sushi restaurant. Because me, personally, I've never had sushi. But, like, you just got to kind of enjoy it. Of course, Sonic steals the gold ring. But, yeah. Or the Dino Nugget. Yeah, the Dino We literally had a bag. Or, no, I made sure to buy a... Uh, at TwitchCon 2019, which was so much fun, I made sure to, like, because I knew I'd get hungry, um, and I knew I was also a picky eater, I purposely bought a bag of Dino Nuggies. I was like, listen, these are going to be mine. I'm going to be sitting in the freezer. Don't mind me. Me and my Dino Nuggies going to vibe, okay? Everyone else in the house was like, enjoy your Dino Nuggies. And then someone else fucking had them, and it made me upset. Because here's the thing. I purposely... Bought those Dino Nuggets. Like, I paid for them. Made sure I paid for them. And then everyone was supposed to chip in for groceries. Everyone was supposed to chip in, like, 20 bucks. Or, like, 30 bucks or something. Because, it, no, it was 39 something. Because we was, like, 200 something dollars worth of groceries. And that's not counting all the alcohol we bought, by the way. But, so, fun fact about that grocery order. I was like, yeah, I'll just pay for it. And y'all can pay me back later. I'm good with that. Everyone was just like, yeah, sure. And then like, two of them paid me back out of the eight. So I was just like, damn, that's cool. I'm trying to find Umbreon. Where are you at? Why can I not find you? Ninja, okay, here you are. But yes, so... Still kind of irks me off to this day, because literally I was... You know, broke. There was so much merch I wanted to buy that I couldn't because I was the one that threw money into groceries. Like I don't mind like the Dino Nuggies because like I, like I said, I paid for that. That's five dollars I didn't even put into account. I told them to take it out of the total everyone's paying because I'm paying for it by myself. I love sushi, but I get picky with sushi too. I've never had sushi. And I'm always, I like, I'm down to try stuff. It's just a matter of I haven't tried it. Uh, Umbreon, I hate to say it right now, but you're kind of getting washed. Getting washed like this is a laundromat, some could say. But I feel like sushi I could enjoy. The one time I got to go to Korean barbecue in my life was that TwitchCon, but because I was broke, I couldn't, I literally was just like, yeah, no, it's fine. I'm not going to get stuff here because I'm not going to try to put the bill on someone else. Even though they did that to me. <laughs> that's that's a funny emote. I don't know what that is, but it's making me chuckle. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to like put the bill on someone else for me eating at the Korean barbecue. So I was just like, I'm going to... I just won't have Korean barbecue. I'll just get I'll just order water that way I don't charge on the bill. Since I knew I didn't have cash that night. But I didn't want to openly be like, oh, I don't have cash. Because <laughs> that's, you know, kind of cringe, as they say. I like that emote. I do enjoy that emote as well. So, Umbrella, did you qualify, Smile? I totally wasn't watching, and I have no idea. This skin is great. The stream is nice. We chill when we talk about animals and food is wholesome. Exactly. Like, you just... Like, these... This is the stuff, like, streams like this are the streams where, this is why I wanted to become a streamer. Because personally, if I ever got to a point where I had, like, a thousand plus people in my chat, I would hate it. Because 
the whole reason I want to stream and the reason I want to do this is to just interact with chat and just talk about just random topics throughout the day or just a funny joke or something. But, like, once you start getting into those, like, chat or, like, those numbers where, like, chat, like, scrolls by at such a rapid pace, even with, like, the channel points to, like, highlight message, you can't read every message anymore. And I... I despise that. Like, obviously there's nothing to be helped about it, right? It's just so many people are interested and so many people are talking, which is good. It means you're being a good content creator. That means you're putting out content that people are enjoying and wanting to do, right? But, like, it's just, yo, look at the banana skin. He's got a little face on his back. I love it. Um, but, yeah, so it's just, like, it loses that personal touch for me. And it's just, there's nothing the streamer can really do about it. It's not the streamer's fault that it loses that personal touch. It just does. And so, nothing to be helped, really. Sorry, I was taking a shot. Don't be sorry. See, and that's another thing. Like, I feel like some streamers, they put such a, what's it called? A, such a pressure on their chat where they're just like, hey, if you're not at every stream, you clearly hate me and despise my gut. Like, like, it's just one of the things where the whole point of the content creator and it being an influencer, even if you want to put it in those words, is... Like, at the end of the day, you're just creating the content. You're just the entertainment, if you will. You're, like, a birthday clown. You're there to entertain and make happy. So, like, the fact that people are sitting there, the, that you're, like, expecting your chat to do things for you or anything of the sort because you're a content creator, that, I do not like that in the slightest. And it's just, it, it just comes down to, like, your politics and your morals with streaming. Like... When you go into a chat, what do you expect? What, like, are you there to talk in chat? Are you there to watch the stream? Are you there to see the game being played specifically? She most... <laughs> birthday clown. But here's the thing. Like, obviously, birthday... I'm not trying to call people clowns, right? Because clowns has become this negative connotation recently. Where everyone's like, LMAO, you got clowned on, you're a clown, whatever. But, like, that's what content creators are youtubers twitch streamers what have you you know whatever platform you decide to create your content on you exist to entertain you don't like the chat doesn't owe you anything you don't like you don't have to i'm trying to think of the best way to word this the chat doesn't cater for you you cater for the chat because at the end of the day it's their entertainment it's their entertainment, and they can, if they all decide one day that, hey, you suck, they just leave. That's it. And next thing you know, you're working at McDonald's. Like, it is such a privilege, and a lot of people do treat this job as the privilege that it is, and I love that. But, let's face it, we all know a streamer or two or ten who, you know, they do, like, they sit and do this stuff where they're just like, yeah. Like, uh, I don't remember the name of the streamer. Even if I remembered, I wouldn't call him out like this. But there's this one streamer who, like, they put donation incentives as, like, if you want me to turn on my microphone today, it's someone has to give $25. If you want me to turn on my webcam today, someone has to give 50 And it's like, like, that blows my mind because it completely defies logic. Because the idea is... You are there for the chat, not the chat is there for you. Well, it works both ways, kind of, sort of, but... I, hopefully I'm articulating my point properly. Like, the reason you Twitch stream is not to... Like, if you're here to... Don't get me wrong, making money is a cool gig. If this becomes your full-time job, it's awesome. But at the end of the day, you're here because you want to be here, is what I hope. Like, that goes for the streamers and the chatters. Like... I want, like, I wouldn't want someone to be, feel like, oh, I have to be in your chat to stay up to date with what's popular and what's mainstream, you know? I would rather someone stay in my chat because they want to stay in my chat. They want to talk. They want to join in on our little discussions and such. In 
And so, yeah, it's great. Some streamers I've seen many people force people to pay. Yeah, it's like, like they'll go into, like, don't get me wrong, follower-only mode for certain chats, I fully get. Because some chats are just clusterfucks. Like, I remember at one time I tried to read XQC's chat. It's, it's illegible. You can't make any logic out of that chat. And is that XQC's fault? No, he's just, he's become such a big content creator that he, there's no way for him to monitor that. There's absolutely zero possible way. Even if he wanted to, which at this point I doubt he wants to. Because let's face it, to try to moderate that nonsense is hell on earth for any human being. Like, it just comes down to just vibing. Like, I've always, like, the, my thing has always been I want to create, like, a chill laid back place where people can come they can talk about their day they can you know just really exist vibe chill out not have to worry about anything we accept everyone we're all good and that's another thing like a lot of chats especially with recent political events have been getting very political and i'm not really with that at all <laughs> i'm not with the politics i'm like listen hold your beliefs hold your opinions i'll hold mine and we'll both mind each other's business. That's the way I see it, you know? I have to... These rings are so hard to get into. Oh. No! I failed that! I'm actually not going to qualify, I think. I might just cuck myself. Uh. Hello? Can I climb? I got a good, good night. Omega, you're going to stream tonight? Yes. We're going to be streaming more consistently now, now that all my projects and stuff are out of the way. We're just going to be flat out, as they say, putting the hustle to the bustle. Not the, not, you know, what's the problem with little crustle? I didn't get that. Am I actually about to not qualify? Check wait. This one right here. I didn't qualify. I think I'm really qualified though, so that's fine. That's something to expect. But good night to you, web girl. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow. If not, I'll see you whenever you can stop by again, and I appreciate you being here. Appreciate it. But yeah, like, I've just, I'm all about just kind of creating chill environment for everyone to vibe in peace. <laughs> Alright, but so what did we talk about next, huh? Want to talk about your crush at school? You want to talk? You want to talk about how he's a cutie patootie? I've never gotten to play this one before. Oh, that makes me sad. I wanted to play this one. I've never gotten to play this. Oh, is this a final? That's why I've never played it. XD, XD, D, 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 D. Uh, I think I'm Rian's in somewhere. Hang on, we gotta look. It's like two one. Here we go. Two one three four. Umbreon's going to secure the dub for us, Chad. Umbreon mega exposing me. Hey, listen. I'm just saying. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Someone said that once. And then someone else copied it. By the way, the amount of people I had to deal with in high school who were like, oh my gosh, guys, the office is so great. The office isn't that great, personally. I'm just going to come out and say that publicly. But, oh, and I think I'm ran lost. Nope, the pigeon made it. Oh, wait, no, everyone gets a qualify. This isn't a finisher. What the hell am I on? I thought this was a finisher. I thought there was only ten people left. I can't count. Hoggers, Umbreon, now you're going to the final round. But, yeah, you know, we just got a vibe. We get to chill. One of these days, I'm going to stop being lazy, and I'm going to figure out how to set up music. That way we... Granted, you know, it's harder to do with all the copyright stuff. Also, another thing. I need to plan it. Some, we'll probably put it into the 24-hour stream at some point, because it's 24 hours. We'll have a bunch of stuff to do. I want to do Twitch things at some point. Um, I want, before it goes away, because Twitch things goes away at the end of the year. So I kind of want to go... Flashback to OK Google Play Megalomania. True. 
Uh, like, I don't shoot because I'm scared of rejection. I did the same exact thing in high school. Don't feel bad. Do not feel bad. At the end of the day, if you truly like someone, shoot your shot. But worst thing is a no, and then you can always just focus on yourself and just vibe. Where's Umbreon? There they are. But yeah, so... Dude, you and this dude are literally just running on top of each other. Umbreon just tanked three levels, but it's okay. Oh, he screwed you. That's unfortunate. But yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm not exactly the most qualified to give relationship advice, even though I do anyway. Um, I was that friend in high school who would always give the relationship advice and then, you know, be able, but then I'd also say, I don't know though, just so that way if things got messed up, it wasn't on me. It wasn't my fault per se. Like, at the end of the day, who really knows how relationships work? The way I see it is you find someone you like and then they like you. And then you just whip and nay nay on each other for the rest of known time. And, I don't know, maybe that'll work out. Alright, Umbran, you might be good to just jump here. But granted, I don't know if you could... <gasps> oh no! Okay, you, sa you saved it. Well, someone destroyed the bottom floor! Jesus! I didn't, like, I didn't think there was another layer past this purple one. Because someone's just been destroying it. Jesus. I want to see if this banana can win it. The banana won. Poggers. I've never won Hexagon. My only ever win was on Hexagon. I've been in toxic relationships. I am sorry for you then. I've never been in a relationship. So I've won Fall Mountain three times. I was so close to winning that one Fall Mountain and then I didn't and I was very sad. But, um. What <laughs> banana? Ooh. Yeah. Like I said, it's just. I've never been in a relationship. It would have been cool to be in one at some point, you know, because now I don't really know a whole lot of things. I'm crazy. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, I'm just kind of focusing on me. If it happens at some point I'm in a relationship, I'm cool. If I go to, if I grow old and I'm still alone, whatever. Like, I'm just, at this point, I'm done sweating it because I've wasted too much of my life just being anxious about silly stuff like that. And so I'm just trying to vibe and relax, you know what I mean? <sighs> Sometimes you just gotta vibe and chill, you know? Like, this is great. This is great. Also, either this one's gonna be my last one or the next one. Depending on how it goes. Just because it's starting to get late. And like I said, I do have to clean a large portion of this house tomorrow. And it's not exactly going to be the most pleasant thing, but I want to make sure I get up early. Because like I said, I want to do our new plan of a stream, stream schedule where we stream at uh, like 3 to 6, give or take, uh, doing Danganronpa or whatever game we're doing at the time. And then like 8 or 9 o'clock, we just start with some FPS game of some kind or something like this where we're just vibing and talking. I think I'm not qualifying at this point. <laughs> Me and Umbreon are not qualifying. Or Umbreon might qualify. Actually, I think I'm... Nope, I'm not qualifying. So we're doing one more after this, because I refuse to let it end there. But we're going to spec Umbreon first. Actually, wait, did Umbreon qualify? Where's Umbreon? Umbreon did qualify. Okay. So when are you going to go live tomorrow? Like I said, around 3 EST is the goal. And like I said... Uh, like, like I said, the plan right now is Ding and Rompa because we have all three of those games to get through, and then we, I'm assuming we'll, we'll finish those before the end of the year. So then we'll sub something in, or we'll start Pokemon this year or something like that, and then like, I don't know. Like I said, we could do like a fun project like we're doing with Ding and Rompa or Pokemon where we're playing all the games. Like if you guys could suggest games even that, like chill single player games, I think would be the best way to phrase that. For that time slot and then I go I turn off the stream I go relax 
uh, do a little bit exercise, walk the dogs, make sure everything's good. Then I come back later in the evening. You know, maybe if people are online, I can play uh, like Overwatch with someone or Among Us, depending on what happens and things like that. Like, you know, but like that early time slot is definitely going to be reserved for like single player projects where we just watch and we have fun together, you know? We're looking for Umbreon. It starts with a two. There we go. Have you ever heard of My Hero Academia? Okay. The, we were talking about this earlier and I cut myself off because something happened. So, like I was saying earlier, the only anime I've actually fully pursued beginning to end is um, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And I guess if you want to count it, the Pokemon anime, which is technically an anime, even though it's a kid's cartoon. Um... But I started My Heroes Academia with a friend a little while back, um, and I loved it. Like, I thought it was very interesting. I thought the way that uh, the powers were called quirks was very interesting, and I thought there was, a, like, you know, there was actually something going on with the characters, which is something I'm always looking out for regardless of what I'm doing. And, um, however, like I said, I was watching it with this friend because... Even though I have, like, a Hulu account or I can make an account so I can watch it somewhere. Deku is a beautiful child, must protect. Like, it's, I didn't get past, like, I think uh, my friend called it the tournament arc is where we were. My favorite anime is Alvin and the Chipmunks. Umbreon, it is the year 2020. Are you bringing back this Alvin and the Chipmunk stuff, huh? I still have a DVD in here somewhere that I bought just for a meme. Umbreon Shrek is better. Oh, jeez. Um, but no, so I started it with a friend, and I was really enjoying it. We got through, or we didn't finish the tournament arc. We got to, like, almost the end of it. At least I think it was almost the end of it. I don't know. Um, but then I went through some stuff with that specific friend, and I essentially, literally, it's just been the matter of, while I'm interested in the show and I want to watch it, Watching it alone isn't the same as watching it with him. So I've kind of just been putting it off for a long time, hoping I could hit him up one day where he's not busy and we can watch it. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but Deku, I mean, I'm assuming, based on the amount of love I see Deku get and like online forums and such, and like his profile, people use him for profile picture and such. Um,. Let me look for Umbreon. There it is. Um, what if we make a Discord server and just watch shows the entire time? Like I said, like that's the whole point of, like I said, uh, was trying to say earlier before I cut myself off. I have a lot of thoughts that I half finish because the issue is the way my brain works. Like I'll think of something and because I think of it, I think I'll, I'll have already said it out loud. So I'll be like, okay, I'm good. I can move on to the next thing. But like, I want to do like movie nights and stuff. It's just a matter of, you know, getting a reliable job or making this into my reliable job so that way I can have money for, like, a Crunchyroll subscription or, like, a Hulu subscription. We can just pick a show or a movie and just do, like, movie nights or show nights. You know, things like that. Because I've always thought that would be pretty fun because there's a lot of stuff in the world I haven't watched. Like, there's a lot of anime I enjoy. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm 100% open to the idea of anime. But besides the first technical, or up to the tournament arc of My Hero, and all of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I have not watched any anime. Unless I'm miss unless I'm forgetting one. And I'm not thinking about it. Do you have Netflix? Mm, I think I do? I know my fa- Okay, I know my family has Disney+, Plus, and I'm pretty sure we still have Netflix. But, I'm not going to lie, ever since that whole cutie scandal went down on Netflix, I've not opened it. So I don't even know if we still have it. We might not. We might. I just really have been hesitant to because, like, Netflix was doing some real shady stuff there and I didn't like it. And, uh, so yeah. But I know, like, for example, JoJo's is starting to come to Netflix uh, like, they're up to season... They say season two, but it's uh, part three is what they have through. 
on Netflix. I know there's a bunch of... I know, like, Naruto is on Netflix. I haven't watched Naruto. Um, I know, Av- like, Avatar The Last Airbender isn't an anime, but it's the closest thing Western car- animation will ever get to anime. And I truly do enjoy it. Have you seen Seven Deadly Sins? No. I've not seen Seven Deadly Sins. I've not seen Death Note. I've not seen... Um, and Naruto is awesome. I've heard Naruto is a lot of filler. I've got a shit ton of DVDs and I can hook up myself to my PC if I have something you guys would be interested in. That could be cool. Uh, you'd have... Honestly, the biggest issue with, um, with setting stuff up with me is just a matter of I'm brain dead. And so... Why was he trying to grab you when he already had a tail? That doesn't make sense. Um, but... Why aren't you trying to grab a tail on Rion? What the hell? Um, but yeah, like, the biggest issue with setting stuff up with me is I'm always down to set stuff up and do stuff. I'm just not lazy. It's just I personally don't like to be the one to message people because I don't want to bother people or anything of the sort. And so I just sit there and I'm like, if someone messages me, I'll help them make it happen. The shred is AFK till there's seven seconds left. Perhaps. Perhaps that's a strat. I'll, I'll, I'll take your word for it. But, um, yeah, it literally is just, like, there's vibes and, like, there's just so much to watch that I haven't watched, and there's so much to do that I haven't done. And like I said, it's just a matter of, I'm down to always set stuff up, like, for example, this whole, uh, what's it called? Uh, da 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 This whole tournament thing I was doing this weekend that I unironically forgot that I was doing um they literally just asked me was like hey can you set this up and I was like sure and then I set it up seems like your strat failed you Umbreon hate to break it to you uh rough alright we go again we go again we get an actual good last one that's what it is but bruh it usually works no I 100% 100% know what it works. I'm just giving you a hard time. I know it normally works because I've that like I've done that before. Um, but yeah, it's literally just a matter of if you ask me to set something up, I can 100% do it. What I need to do though, like once again, so list of things, and someone write this down because I'm too lazy to write it down and I'm gonna forget. I need to set up this set up a bot in the Discord server that will let people know when I go live. That way, I don't have to manually do it because otherwise, you're never gonna get live notifications. Ever again. I'll take a pic of my DVD shelf after this. Yeah. 100% down. You can send it probably in general or something in the Discord. But yeah. So we need the bot. The server bot. That way we can ping when I go live and stuff. And then we have... uh, What was the second thing? Like, background music for the stream. I need to, like, make a Spotify playlist. find Find a playlist. I wanted to do Plug DJ... But the issue with Plug DJ is because Plug DJ allows you guys to submit music, which I'm 100% down for, and we can change it every stream. But the issue is that I have to have a Google Chrome tab open, and until I get a better computer, having a Google Chrome tab open while I'm streaming literally just erupts my PC into flames, and there's just not a lot to be done about it. So we have to take, yeah, we have to take that into account. And then, I don't know, is there other stuff that needs to be written down on this list that I'm not thinking of? There probably is. It's asking me to grab tail. There's no tails to grab in this game mode, what? Alright, watch this. They call me Speedrunner. Oh, I just walked off the map. I was doing such good, and then I just did bad. Ooh. No! I thought I made it! Like a chat that everyone can join and talk to? Uh, I already have that. It's just a matter of I have to join the call. Uh, the general or the streamer calls in my Discord can function for that. 
Uh, it's just a matter of I have to physically join. Like, I'd be down to do it for these streams. But, like, say I'm playing Overwatch with friends or something, or I'm playing Valorant with a stack of people. Like, FPS games, I'm not really sure if I'd be down to join a call. But, like, when I'm playing Fall Guys, I can just join a call and just talk and do nonsense. I'm 100% down for that. My biggest fear with that, though, is if, like, someone joins into the chat, instantly hits exclamation point Discord, they join into the Discord, they join the call, and they do something crazy. But, like, it's such a low... It's such a low worry. Birthday week until uh, talk during your birthday. Yeah, like certain stuff. Like during Dang and Rumpa, I wouldn't want people to join. During Pokemon, I wouldn't want people to join. But like during Fall Guys, during like, um, like once the server grows enough and the channel grows enough, we could do like Among Us lobbies since it's free on mobile. Uh, I could reinstall Fortnite. <laughs> um, but like I was saying with the music, uh, with the music thing, like plug DJ. It's just a matter of. Once I get a better PC, Plug DJ will just always be on and we can just have people submit songs. It's just a matter of I have to get a better PC first. And according to my friend, a good gaming PC for streaming would be $1,500, give or take. That's why the birthday stream is also a fundraiser stream. But like I said, I don't expect to raise a lot of money for that. You know what I mean? Hopefully, maybe, perhaps. Anyway. You know how it'd be. Um... But yeah, definitely during parts of the birthday stream. Because um, like I said, birthday stream, we have to keep in mind as well, 24 hours is a long time. Like, we don't think of it as a long time. But 24 hours is long. Like, long, long. Um, so we need a bunch of stuff to do during that 24 hours. Um, out, like, obviously we could do Overwatch for a bit, Valorant for a bit, Danganronpa for a bit. Um, trying to think of what else. We could do this for a bit, Fall Guys. We could do, um, like I said, we could reinstall Fortnite. <laughs> I don't even have that big of a gripe with Fortnite. Like, the game itself as a base game, I don't actually have any qualm or issue with. My issue comes with just how sweaty the player base is. Do you want to celebrate your birthday? It would be awesome and wholesome. Yes, 100%. For, like, certain stuff. Like I said, our, like, whenever we do Dang and Rumpa and stuff, but we can make, like, a time block of, like, 6 to 9 or something like that. Or we don't even have to time block it that hard. We can just say at some point before it's midnight, I'll, we can load up Fall Guys or something simple where I don't have to. Because, like, my biggest issue with joining during, like, like, I don't want to join during Dang and Rumpa because, like I said, that's kind of single player and I'm purposely leaving it as single player. Um, But then... Uh, my biggest issue with joining during, like, Overwatch or something is, like, I do want to be, like, trying or something. Same with Valorant. So I don't want to have, like, no offense, I love you guys, but I don't want to have people in my ear while I'm trying to focus and play the game at my best potential. Um, but, like, Fall Guys, you know what I mean? Like, my brain isn't turned on right now. I'm clicking W button. I'm vibing. I'm having a good time. Bro, I just remembered. What'd you remember? I have the entire Shrek series on DVD. Honestly, that could be fun to just watch all of the Shreks. Wait, isn't there a Shrek Halloween special where, like, Lore Farquaad died? Can I, like, Google that? Can I Google that? Hang on. That that could be fun. We do, like... Also, like, everyone does spooky games during Halloween, I'm here to tell you. Spooky games are spooky. I do not enjoy that. Scared Shrekless? Yes. Yes. Scared Shrekless for Halloween thoughts. Can have a nice little viewing party. A nice little enjoyable viewing experience. Some could even argue. Dude, this dude really cannot get this ring. There we go, got it. Ooh, ring is over there. Oh, Sonic got it, damn it. Um A golden ring, uh I'm gonna shove this over here.
Got it. Yoink. Want to give you a nickname? I already have a nickname. Uh, all my friends call me Ray. So you can just call me Ray. So there you go. If you want to come up with your own individual nickname, you can do that. I'm not going to stop you. But I'm just letting you know I do already have a nickname. Uh, let's try to find a Brian, actually. There you are. Come on, Umbreon, you gotta qualify. It's the last game of the night. You and I will both qualify for the final, and one of us will win. Chop, chop. Oh, that's two rings right there. That's free. That's free dubs. Oh, you got robbed. Is it Ray? It's R-A-E, not R-A-Y. Ray is... It's not Ray Romano. It's short for Rachel. Pog you. Wait, did you just jump through that ring and it didn't take the ring? What the hell? It gave you the point for it. I'm confused. Uh, but yeah, so there's just... Literally, there's so much stuff that could easily be planned if I just wasn't lazy. But I'm like, oh, what is this guy doing? Uh, he do be levitating. He do be levitating, I must admit. There must be some levitation going on here. Oh, it's in the top 20%. There's 17 of us left, right? Pong. Ponga champ. But yeah, there's just a lot of stuff to plan. You just gotta, I just have to sit and actually plan it all out one day. Your name is Rachel. Yes. But everyone can call me Ray, you can call me Mega, you can call me Mega Lass, you can call me... The only thing you can't call me is late for dinner. Why? Because I'm fat and I will always eat dinner. But, um... <laughs> I hate how unfunny that was, but I still did a freaking drum roll. Anywho. Uh... Alright, we gotta... Get up there, you lazy... No! Wait, huh? Get up there, you lazy cuck. Why can I not make that jump? Hello? No, jump and grab. It's just not grabbing for me. Dude, the game hates me. What the heck? I'm definitely not qualifying. Wait, there's still possibility. Dude, let me stand. Please, let me grab it. It's, it's literally just not letting me grab it. Am I not doing something right here? I can't see. I literally just cannot see. I'm not qualifying. Damn it. Cactus lass. Yes. You can, but yeah, like I said. As long as it's not offensive, call me whatever you want. I do not particularly care. Oh, uh, but dude, I, I, I don't like that. I don't like when I'm doing everything right I'm supposed to in one of these mini games, and I still just, the game's like, no, you can't. Why? Because I said so. Hmm. All right, let's see. Fall Mountain. Let's see if Umbreon can clutch out the win. The, the potential W, as they say. Yo, my leg is so itchy, and I don't know why. I know what I'm going to call you. Uh-huh. Let's hear it. Umbreon, it's fine. They call you the underdog. You start with a disadvantage to help all the other players make them feel like they have a chance. Look at that. You're right there in the pack. And never mind. You just got hit by a giant tennis ball. But you know what? It's okay. Because tennis ball... Oh, look at that. The ricochet. And then you're just hit by another ball. And another one. <laughs> 
the balls are targeting you, Umbra. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. They made this so much more violent. What the hell? There's so much happening. Umbra, it's you. It's you. Look, they're all fumbling. Oh, damn it. Someone got it. Someone got it. You gave it your best. You gave it your best. That's all that matters. You know how it be sometimes. But yeah. Nice two hour stream. We got to talk, we got to vibe, exist, have fun. You know, I think that's a very well done stream. Uh, like I said, tomorrow, 3 p.m. ish, we'll be live with Dang and Rampa. My nickname is Nugget. Understandable, potentially. Potentially not really. Um, interesting choice. I'll let you rock out with it. Do what you must, as they say. Um, but yeah, so 3 p.m., Danganronpa, we gotta do the trial, and then if the trial's short, we'll just keep going after that till around 6, and then Overwatch or Valorant, or maybe more of this, depending, who knows, just kinda depends on what people want and what I'm in the mood for, but I appreciate you guys all, as always, and I actually am gonna start uploading VODs to the VOD channel, starting with this VOD. I don't think I'll upload, like, the single-player VODs. I'll upload, like, these VODs. Because the single-player VODs don't make sense without the stream. That way, there's also a reward for coming to the streams. It's smart. It's a game plan on my end. Anyway, I'm actually heading out. i talk to you all later. Love you all. Bye-bye.